Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kojomo here back with another video. In the last video, I showcased to you guys one of the best ways to warm up inside a Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And today I want to throw it back to one of the most old school maps in the game and kind of take you through my warm up and what I do in order to prepare myself for my matches using aimbots. Aimbots is one of the most iconic maps and it's something that every single pro in the game has used in order to hone their skills in and it's the you know most classic way to fine tune your aim. Now guys, before we get into the video, I have a message from the partner of today's video. This video is brought to you by Keydrop. On Keydrop, you can open up a variety of cases that contain very cool drops. If you do not like what you unbox, they also have an upgrader mode that gives you a chance to win a better skin, or you can also use their skin changer mode to change your skin to one of your liking. They even have case battles where you can test your luck by opening custom cases against an opponent. There are also a ton of tasks that you can do to get free gold, which in turn allows you to open up free cases. They have a lot of different deposit methods, including credit cards, crypto, and even CSGO skins. And if you use my promo code, KOJOMO, you get a free 50 cents and a 10% bonus on your deposit, which helps both of us out. All right, so what we want to do is I'll leave the download link for Aimbots in the description, but essentially go up here and click play CSGO. Uh, once you download the map, it's going to pop up here in your, your workshop maps right here. Click Aimbots and go into custom training mode. Now, aimbots may be a classic uh, way to shoot bots and warm up, but I guarantee you guys that you don't, you haven't seen a lot of these ways that you can use the aimbots in order to make sure you're performing at the highest level possible. Let's turn our volume all the way down here. Now, the first thing I do when I get in here, guys, is I actually uh, hit E on all of these, except for this one. I hit E on the farthest one. And what this is gonna do is make it so that all these walls are, you know, closed in and we can focus on one plane right we can focus on one plane and now that we have this one plane we can sit here and i like to when i first just get on i like to just tap that's pre what i like to do that's my preference i might just do this for 50 you know 50 kills that's fine um just tapping to get my aim warmed up before i even get into my routine this kind of just like the the warm-up to our routine our warm-up to our warm-up so i like sitting here and just tapping and you know getting into the mood of things and guys i encourage you while you're doing this man just throw on some music throw on some good vibes maybe a motivational speech and get in the right headspace but you know once i get 50 ish uh i tend to put the ak down for a little bit and sometimes i pull out the m4 and i do the same thing i, I work on these little bursts of the m4 laser beam laser beam right laser beam laser beam and same thing i might do 50 of those and uh just work on short little bursts at the m4 just to switch things up and get my hands on a different type of gun. So you're just looking for a little burst, right? Little burst, little burst, little burst, little burst. So we do that. Um, I do switch it back to AK, AK then. And guys, when you're doing spray control, you gotta realize that the spray pattern is the same every time, right? You see on the wall how the bullets are flying up like that? That is going to be your spray pattern every time. So after I do those taps, I sit here and I work on, you know, doing little sprays, but I just do like the first part of the spray. I, I do little bursts, right? We don't commit to the full spray and I kind of just feel it out and burst it out here, right? I'm just bursting, I'm just bursting, just bursting. I'm letting the spray do most of the work, right? Because if you guys notice, the first part of the spray goes up, right? It just goes pretty much straight up, a little bit of curve, but for the most part, it's just going straight up. The, the recoil is gonna do most of the work for you here. So once I get a little comfortable with that, I work on a, a little bit of spray transfers, but nothing crazy. I'm not I'm not extending my spray all the way, right? We're not going all the way in, so I do that for a bit. And once I do get a little warm with this and I'm feeling good, that is when I kind of work on these full-on spray controls where I'm hitting multiple targets and holding down for a, a longer period of time. So I find that this is a really good way to, you know, Get your spray control down and guys i actually have made a video on my channel showing you how you can improve your spray control and get better at that using a different workshop map so go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already if you're struggling with spraying in csgo and you're just feeling really bad about it so i do that and guys i'm an opera so what i like to do is i like to get some flicks down right so i like to literally just sit in here and, and get my full range of motion like literally just crazy flicks right crazy flicks that are gonna really help me warm up and when I'm in the game, I can have a higher chance of hitting these insane shots because I'm practicing them in the aimbot server. So I like doing these crazy flicks and you know, you're gonna miss a lot of shots. Like you can't be scared to miss guys. If you're scared to miss, then you're never gonna improve because 
you know, you're not going to take risks because you're worried about what could happen. Well, you can't worry about what could happen all the time. Sometimes you got to worry about what can happen. What, what can you make happen? What can you make possible, right? So change your mindset with that. Um, I'll show you guys some of these commands now that you can shoot on the wall. If you want to uh, be, if you want like the, the sound to play so that you can click as it's playing, right? Some people find that very effective. I just got to follow. So thank you whoever followed me on Twitch. You can enable that. It's pretty cool. And what I like guys, if you have a potato PC, you can go full potato mode and it's going to increase your FPS. It's going to shut off all the, the stuff on the wall and you can just focus on playing, which is great. That's why aimbot is so good at no matter what your FPS is, you can use it. Uh, but yeah, what I like to mess with too, guys, is actually if we come over here, we can make it so that they only have Kevlar. I like doing this with the USB. Right now I'm using the P2K though, so I like doing that because in a on pistol rounds, obviously the, the bots are, or the players are only going to have Kevlar, right? They're not going to have head armor. So I find this really good to practice my uh, USP. So it's pretty sick. Pretty sick, guys. Pretty sick. But other than that, I mean, I, I also practice my deagle with uh, just these bots like this. And guys, if you don't know, if you crouch at the deagle, you're really accurate with it, right? Sorry, I'm kind of a noob right now. But uh, if you crouch at the deagle, you're extremely accurate and you can shoot it faster. And I'll give you guys a little tip right now. So you know the song, Staying Alive, Staying Alive, you know that song? If you just tap to that beat, dun, 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 Staying Alive, Staying Alive, it's going to be really accurate when you shoot. So dun, 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 Staying Alive, Staying That's how I like to practice my deagle and I sit here and do that. You can also practice like your, I like to practice my counter strafing, like when I'm moving and then hitting the opposite key. So I'm holding A, holding A, hold D, like right, I missed there, but you get the point. Hold A and then D. Well, D and then A, right? So doing that same thing. It's a really effective uh, way to practice your deagle because in the game, you're not just going to be crouched all the time. You're going to be moving around and hitting these crazy 1D like flicks and stuff. So it's good to get that down. Um, you guys just also, I'll show you some of these other commands. You can make the bots move around if you want. Um, speed two, yeah, they move around. I don't really like this. Like I know some people use this, but I hate it. I, I really do. It'll help your tracking though. If you use this, uh, it's really going to help your tracking and help you get used to like players moving around instead of being stationary. So I, I think it's pretty sick, but I just personally don't don't use it. Um, again, there's other stuff too. You can do long range mode where the bots will spawn all the way out there. I, I guess it's useful, um, can be useful, but if you want to practice your long range battles, like it's really going to help you with your precision. And it's not something I see a lot of people using, but this really actually could help you. I mean, there's not going to be game situations where anyone's this far, but it's so, it's so cool. It's so unique, but slap that off. Uh, one thing it's cool too. You can do uneven ground. You can I guess moving target. Oh, it's a target that you can shoot in the background. That's pretty sick. Uh, also sound practice. It'll play sound around you, which is nice. Very unique. Very cool. These, uh, peaks ray walls too. Super good guys. Cause look. Like I said with the Deagle too, we can practice uh, like peeking around the corner. See like, I'm a noob right there, but we can practice like counter strafing around the corner and like pre-firing. See, like we can practice putting our crosshair and then doing this, which is a really good way to get our crosshair placement built up and work on like this little pre-fire counter strafing move, which is sick. So try that out. Uh, you know, that's, that's an effective way to peek and it's going to look like your Ferrari peeking the other team. So that's pretty sick. Uh, you can also add boxes, crates, you can, you can customize all this guys. And there's themes, there's like all kinds of stuff you can do. Like, look at this, like it, it completely changes the vibe and you can work on your, your headshots and all kinds of stuff, man. So it's really cool. Like aimbots as classic as it is, there's a reason every pro uses it. There's a reason everybody wants to use this map. And quickly before I go guys, I'm just going to give you a routine that you could do every single day to improve yourself. This can be, if you're a rifler, if you're an upper especially use this but um what you're gonna do like i said start and tap 50 heads just tap heads 50 heads and then i want you guys to switch over to the m4 do 50 m4 uh little bursts switch back to the ak do a hundred spray kills like a little spray burst kills 100 burst kills um you guys can stay on the ak then and then work on 50 to 100 uh full spray transfers to two or more uh bots right once you do that uh you guys actually can skip to the deagle and then sit, sit there with the deagle for 50 kills and just work on getting deagle headshots. You can crouch, you can do whatever you want and do your thing with deagle, right? Once you finish that, if you guys are oppers, pull out that op, man. Pull out that op and sit here and get, you know, if you're an opper, get 100 kills with the op. If you're not an opper, get anywhere from like 30 to 50 kills with the op is fine. 
Um, also, guys, warm up your pistol of choice. If you use the P2K, warm that up. If you use the USP, warm that up. Get 50 kills with that at least. 50 to 100. That'll be sick. And you guys can play around with other guns too. You want to practice your sprays and stuff like that with other guns. Just add that on. Add it to bonus. If you're not feeling warm, then keep going. If you are feeling warm, you're set to play. So this is your guide to using aimbots. Like I said, just play around with the map. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Um, make sure if you are doing this aim routine that you turn these walls off and only focus on one side. But yeah, guys, there's infinite uh, possibilities with uh, this map and it's really unique. Like <laughs> there's so much you can do. Like, look at this. This doesn't even look like your normal aimbots anymore. So you guys have fun playing. I'll catch you in the server. I'll see you at the top because you guys are going to be insane once you do this aim routine. And once you learn how to use aimbots efficiently. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys watched the end of this video, comment Kojo is a bot. Kojo is a bot. Co comment that. And I'll know that you guys watched to the end. And I know that you guys are you guys are watching all the video and you're getting better. So peace out. Catch you guys later.